America's number one professional wrestling ranch show. We are two days away, well by the time you see this, one day away from the Royal Rumble. We're on the road to WrestleMania. We're going to get it in gear. We're going to pull back the stick and we're going to get on our way to WrestleMania. But before we do that, we got a whole lot of other stuff to talk about. That's right. The Royal Rumble is this Sunday, live on pay-per-view, and yours truly will be watching the Royal Rumble. Now, you do whatever you want to do, but be smart about it. Wise up. Order the Royal Rumble on pay-per-view. Am I saying this is the best one? No, but I am saying it's going to be a good one. So, I advise you to order to the Royal Rumble this Sunday on pay-per-view. You don't have to do it because I said so. Just because I think it's a good idea. Anyway, getting right along down to the nitty-gritty of what we're here to talk about this week. Professional wrestling and how it should be done. Because that's what we do here on WrestleRant HD. All right, now, Dolph Ziggler claims he's a show-off. If you're going to show off, Dolph, you have to have something to show off. If you're going to say wrestling talent, I'll give it to you. You've got wrestling talent all day long. You know the moves, you get in there, you do very well. No one can take that away from you, I certainly won't. But when it comes to microphone skills, Dolph, you're still learning. That's why Vicky Guerrero is going to be ever at your side as you pick a microphone up. Because without Vicky Guerrero, you don't stand a chance by yourself. Vicky Guerrero truly is this generation's Bobby the Brain Heenan in female form. Vicky Guerrero has the ability to take superstars with her mouth to places that they can't get with their own. You know, I hope you don't take that the wrong way, whoever's watching this. I only meant to say that Vicky Guerrero has a natural talent with her mouth that male superstars don't. You know what? I can't get out of that one. Let's move on. Chris Jericho finally opened up his mouth this past Monday night on Raw when he spoke, yes he spoke, about the Royal Rumble, which I'm looking very forward to, especially that triple threat match between Mark Henry, The Big Show, and Daniel Bryan. We'll talk about that more later. Chris Jericho claims that he is going to make the Royal Rumble explosive, earth-shattering. Well, Chris, I hope you do more than come down to the ring with a Christmas jacket on. I hope you do more then come down to the ring and shout and slap hands and, well, show up, Chris. Actually show up in the ring. You didn't even wrestle in your match with John Cena. You just pulled a Tom Cruise on us, minus the couch. Will Chris Jericho perform this Sunday at the Royal Rumble? Or will it be more of the same that we've seen these past few weeks? What are WWE's plans with Chris Jericho, a.k.a. the Lionheart Chris Jericho? Didn't think I'd bring that up, did you, Chris? Ha, 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 ha. I miss WCW. Ah, now we get to one of my favorite subjects. I love the John Cena Kane story. I love the fact that John Cena's character is now embracing the hatred. I love the fact that John Cena's character is beginning to go into a dark side of itself and will soon birth something that we used to know. Something gritty, something thuggish, something hard and rough. John Cena is becoming the incredible Cena. Arrgh. 
Okay, maybe that was a bad impersonation, but this is going somewhere that I definitely like. A change in Cena's character is definitely what's needed to freshen the air in the WWE locker room. I love where WWE is going with this. And the whole thing with Zack Ryder being choke slam through the stage. Awesome. Just awesome. Remember the Attitude Era days when people like the Big Show would get choke slam through the ring or people like the Undertaker would come up through the ring? Seems like those days are kind of coming back. Maybe not all the way, but some of the way. Well, anyway, I like it. I think this is a great story, and it's kept the attention of many professional wrestling fans, including myself. You know, WWE, I think you know that there's a time when sports entertainment is good and sports entertainment is bad. Well, this is one time where sports entertainment might actually be good. Hey, don't get used to me saying that. I still love professional wrestling. Let some of it show up sometime on your program, WWE. Anyway, thank goodness for writers who sympathize with people like us, the fans that love professional wrestling. And stay right here on WrestleRant HD, because you never know what's going to happen next. Also, before we uh, take a break, what I'd like to do is something that, well, I think is in the best interest of people like myself and fans like you who aren't exactly in love with John Cena. Now, for those of you that are, please shield your eyes. What I'm about to show you is not for the faint at heart. It's nothing more than my prediction of what I think will happen at the Royal Rumble. Take a look at this. Jeez, you know, these competitors... And oh, what's happening here? John Cena's getting up. Look at the eyes. Oh, oh, John Cena is in trouble. And down he goes. And Kane pins John Cena here at the Royal Rumble. Oh, oh, John Cena has lost. John Cena has lost. I love it. Yes. Yes. Look at this. Look at this action replay. As you can see, John Cena was in control for much of the beginning, but it is Kane now who has shown his dominance in a choke slam. Oh yes. This is an awesome Royal Rumble prediction. Let's get back. To wrestle, Red H D. He gets a big victory and here. It's tonight. only a visual prediction. I'm not saying it's exactly what's going to happen. Now, I want you to know that even though I don't ride the John Cena fan wagon, that I still like John Cena, just not his character. Don't get character dislike mistaken with actual person dislike. John Cena is actually a pretty good person. His character? Well, you judge for yourself. This is WrestleRant HD. Don't you go anywhere. <laughs> Mama, welcome back to WrestleRant HD, America's number one professional wrestling rant show. This is the place where you hear exactly what you want to hear, not what they want you to hear. Now, I know some of you are tired of me talking about the Funkasaurus Brodus Clay, but I have to. It's my job. It's what I do. I get down to the bottom, to the grit, 
where nobody else wants to. Why is Brodish dressed like a member of Run DMC? Look, I love the 80s, and if anybody could bring it back, I would. But come on, man. LL Cool J turned in his can go a long time ago. Alright, moving right along. Ha <laughs> ha! The story with John Laronitis and CM Punk thickens. Because now we get the game Triple H involved once again. Could John Laurinaitis end up on the other side of employment known as unemployment? Will he be fired? What will happen this Sunday at the Royal Rumble? If John Laurinaitis is still the special guest referee for the CM Punk Ziggler match, will John Laurinaitis call it down the middle? Or will John Laurinaitis decide to go with a lower nature and call it just the way he wants to. Either way, I think this is a great story and I think that the game Triple H getting involved in it is great for this reason. Because as good as the story is, it needed that little extra something to keep you watching. That little extra something that said, mm, why should I watch this this Sunday? Oh, oh yeah! Because Triple H, the COO, is going to be involved. Now, I know you may not think much of this story, but I actually think it's a great one. Plus, I'm a huge fan of CM Punk. I love his character, and I love the writing behind it. Also, I'd like to say, where's my ice cream bar? Had to throw it in. So, I'm looking forward to this contest between CM Punk and Dolph Ziggler this Sunday, live on pay-per-view at the Royal Rumble. I've been following this story for a long time now. And I cannot wait to see how it ends up. Will Dolph Ziggler become the WWE Champion? I hope not. Or will CM Punk retain this title? Okay, time to pick on another one of my favorite stories. The whole thing between Daniel Bryan, Big Show, and the world's strongest man, Mark Henry, has gone on for quite some time now. I also want to point this out as I talk about this subject. Mark Henry could quite possibly be injured due to a groin injury and a knee injury. He may be over the groin injury, but the knee injury may be what caused Mark to collapse this past Friday night on SmackDown. Mark, if you're watching this, I wish you well and I hope you get better because I think you're an important part of that contest at the Royal Rumble. I think he's important because I would love to see nothing more than either Big Show or Mark Henry walk around with that heavyweight championship. I just don't think D. Bryan's ready to carry it yet. However, what Daniel Bryan has been showing me over the past couple of weeks may make me change my tune about him. He's a guy that comes from a place that I really love, independent promotions. No one backs independent professional wrestling more than me. In fact, I say if you go to any show, more than any show, go to an independent show. They're not just shows that are cost efficient, but you get a better show than you do sitting in a WWE seat a lot of the time. So I encourage you, go to your local independent shows. But I wanted to say this, that Daniel Bryan has gone leaps and bounds above what I thought he would. I want to say that his mic skills are improving for WWE standards. Daniel Bryan, good job, but buddy, right now I just don't think you have what it takes to carry that title through the company. Mark or The Big Show are one of the two competitors in this match that I'm looking for to carry that World Heavyweight Championship out of the Royal Rumble. Okay. The whole thing with Drew McIntyre and Sheamus didn't happen the way I wanted it to. Which is really sad. You see, I really wanted there to be some sort of story build up between Sheamus and Drew McIntyre. I didn't expect the Scotsman to meet the Irishman on such tacky terms. 
Honestly, WWE, what are you doing with Drew McIntyre? Drew McIntyre has one of the best characters I've ever seen. Don't get me wrong, I love Sheamus. I think Sheamus is a great character, although you don't seem to think so. Obviously, you're mid-carding him. But I think that Drew McIntyre has exactly what it takes to become something in the WWE. I didn't say he was ready right now, but he is ready. WWE, consider what you're doing to Drew McIntyre. I want you to consider it, and I want you to at least try to warm up to him some way or another, okay? The Viper Randy Orton has made his return to WWE, and he has returned with a vengeance. RKOing everybody in his sight in the ring on Friday Night Smackdown is a show that the Randy Orton Viper character will not go down in WWE creative flames. Randy Orton knows that in order to stay at the top of the game, he's got to turn it up a notch every single time. And like Emeril Lagasse, get in there and hit the RKO. Bam! Randy Orton is back. Is the attitude back with Orton? I think it is. And as the weeks progress, as we get to the Royal Rumble even, I think we are going to see a renewed, restored Viper. This is Russell Rat HD, America's number one professional wrestling rant show. Stay right there. The Royal Rumble, this Sunday, live on pay-per-view. Call your local cable operator or your satellite provider and tell them you want to be a part of the Royal Rumble. I'd like to order the Royal Rumble this Sunday live on pay-per-view. Uh-huh, that's right, the Royal Rumble. What do you mean I haven't paid my bill? I paid I paid you just last week. Are you kidding me? Just, listen, I'll pay you tomorrow. Now, I'd like to order WWE's Royal Rumble. What do you mean I can't order the Royal Rumble until I pay you? I said I'd pay you tomorrow. Hey, let me tell you something. You don't talk to me like that. I... Hi. Welcome back to WrestleRant HD. Uh, the Royal Rumble this Sunday live on pay-per-view. The 30-man over-the-top Royal Rumble. Let's face it, folks. The other matches before the actual Royal Rumble happens, they're great. And we look forward to those. But we look forward more than anything to the 30-man, over-the-top battle royal known as the Royal Rumble. Now, listen, don't get me wrong. I miss WCW Battle Bowl as much as anybody. I miss having two rings fighting more than... 40 participants, excuse me, about 40, almost 50 participants fight. Look back through the old WCW tapes. Super Brawl, War Games, oh, it was great. Wouldn't it be neat if WWE took the concept of the Royal Rumble, did the thing with the 40 men again, only this time, you don't have one ring, WWE, you have Two rings. Hey, it's this pro pro professional wrestling fan's fantasy. Can you forgive me for having my dreams? Anyway, I look forward to the 30 men over the top Royal Rumble this Sunday on pay-per-view. I am excited about it, and you should be too. Who did WWE promote this year? Who does WWE think 
is going to carry the company for a, a half of a year or at least another year. Well, whoever that is, I wish them luck. And I hope it's not somebody corny that I have to talk about on WrestleRant the week after. Anyway, I'm looking forward to the Royal Rumble. You should be too. I'm Angelo Demetrius, and I want to thank you for joining me once again for WrestleRant HD this week. I look forward to coming back next week and talking about the results of the Royal Rumble and what's happened all week long in WWE and wherever professional wrestling is happening because this is WrestleRant HD. Until then, I hope you join me right here at YouTube.com or whatever video website you watch WrestleRant HD through. I'm Angelo Demetrius saying I'll see you next week or the Royal Rumble. I'll see you next week. Good. Bye, everybody.